Hey there, it's Brody, and right now it's about Tuesday at lunchtime, and I've already treated six people this week who are dealing with hip pain or sciatic pain. So I thought I might as well throw in some of the tips that I have been giving to all my patients this week into a quick video for what you can do about hip pain and sciatic pain. So uh, to get started, let's stand up and we'll do some Qigong together for the for the hips. So first starting with your feet about shoulder um, width apart, soft bend in the knees. We're going to do pushing clouds to the side. So what that looks like is we're going to start with a yin hand, that isn't doing a whole lot, and a yang hand which is going to push. So that I'm going to push away as I lean over and shift my weight towards that side. And then I'm going to open up through my hip as I push down and away to the other side. And I'm going to move in whatever direction feels like it gets the most hip opening. So if I move a little bit backwards, I can get the side or even the front of the hip of my psoas and through here is getting a nice stretch. So doing this very slowly and breathing into whatever feels tight is the first thing. Second thing is wide hip circles. So again, with that shoulder width stance and soft knees, you can put your hands on your hips and just pushing your hips sideways, back to the other side and forward and around. Moving in big circles in both directions stopping and luxuriating wherever it feels like you need to open up. So hip circles. Next thing you can do is take pinky balls like these, put them on your gluteus medius, which is often and like it's just so often a place that's tight on people. So glute med is kind of one of the more lateral hip muscles. So if you put your your ball here and then another one Kind of right below it and you put that whole thing against a wall um, you can do some massage like that obviously my hand isn't providing nearly enough pressure to really get in there or you can just lie on the floor and roll gently um, without a huge amplitude to open up that area um, the other thing you can do if you don't have any pinky balls or tennis balls or suitable self-massage tools. You can use your fists in, um, in open fists and pound on gallbladder 30, which is a point in the hip that is located two-thirds the distance from the, um, the junction of your tailbone with your sacrum. So that's like one landmark. And then the second landmark is your greater trochanter, the big bony thing on the side of the leg. Um, and so you go, anyway, two-thirds that distance puts you at gallbladder 30. And with your loose fists, you can just kind of pound on your glutes until they relax. You can also couple any of those things, well, maybe not the acupressure, um, with, this, with this point on the hand that is located uh, sort of just past the knuckle of the first finger, um, not quite halfway down. So, um, so right about there. Um, or it's halfway between, for those of you who know acupressure, large intestine four and large intestine three, which is kind of right in there. So pressing that point really hard um, while you do the hip circles or the uh, pushing clouds to the side can add an extra layer of opening up that area of the body. Uh, the last thing that you could do are yoga poses like figure four. Um, so crossing one leg over the other, um, with, you can't really see my legs in this position, um, but yeah, the figure four position, um, sitting up nice and tall and folding forward can be a really nice way of getting into the hip. Um, and then to get the other um, aspect of rotators of the hip, um, crossing your knee towards your chest, hugging it in close, sitting up with a tall spine and twisting towards your bent knee side. Um, Anyway, I hope that that helps you take care of your hips and be pain-free. It's uh, no coincidence, I think, that it's the spring and we're seeing all the stagnation in the gallbladder channel, which can also be tight neck and shoulders. Um, anyway, so give yourself a little extra self-massage, uh, take some deeper breaths, and um, don't try so hard. That'll also be good for your liver gallbladder. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Bye.